Hello and welcome back to Insanely Creating. It feels like it's been a while. Oh my gosh, guys. You will never guess what. It's collaboration time. I get to work with some amazing people doing a Summer Lolita project. The people that are included in this project are... Rock Puppets. Myself. Jackie O. Dark Crafting. Val Kitty's World, who is also our host. And Electric Bunny. Of course, the links to all of these amazing people will be below the video. But for a summer lolita, I don't know about you, but I like to think of an ice cream truck. And when I was looking down the menu, I was thinking, right, I would like to do a typical strawberry ice cream, chocolate sauce, sprinkles with a cherry on top. Because, of course, why wouldn't I? Before we get into the video, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who is here watching already. Please feel free to like, subscribe, ding the bell if you don't want to miss anything because my schedule is all over the place. And now with all of that out of the way, I think it's time that we go and get started with our doll. So, um, alert. We go ahead and chop off all the hair as close to the root as I possibly can. Although this was quite tough as uh, this doll sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. I definitely need to get a few more of her. I definitely got some more ideas of what I could do with her uh, for other projects. Then we dunk her in the boiling hot water and pop her head off. Then I use one of my sculpting tools to rip all of the hair plugs from out of her head while it's still nice and soft. We use 100% acetone to get rid of the face paint. And once we got rid of that, I realized that actually there's some damage to her lips, but we can cover that up. For now, let's change our background to pink so we can see her. Aha, much better. Now that my old lady eyes can now see what they're doing, I have got this gorgeous mint hair um, that I bought years ago. I have no idea where, and I have no idea how it was that long ago that I bought this stuff. But it's definitely a, like a plasticky nylon kind of hair. But you'll see later that I'm able to run my straighteners over it and it doesn't melt. So I'm not quite sure what this stuff is or where it came from. But I need to find out because I definitely need to get some more. But I just chop it off away from the weft and use my little rerouting tool that I made with a... It's like one of those little drill, hand drill thingies that you use. And then I chopped off a needle right through the eye, chopped it and added it to the drill bit. And I used that to reroute the hair. And I also realized while in the middle of rerouting that I completely forgot to paint the scalp. So as you can see, I'm just quickly doing that now. Then we need to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So I try putting in this tacky glue before I realize it's the old tacky glue. Uh, yeah, that stuff was rock solid. Anyone else like that where they just keep old bottles for no reason? No, just me? Okay, so with the hair in place and I have allowed it to dry for 24 hours, it is now time to give her a boil bath so that I can try and calm the hair plugs down because at the moment they're really springy. Um, once I also did this, I noticed that it needed filling in a bit more, so I did go in and re-plug uh, the root, um, sorry, down the centre, the centre parting and down the back as well, because it was looking a bit sparse. Now her skirt, I want to be super poofy, but it's going to be the illusion of poof. 
So I've got this nice thin fabric and I'm gonna scrunch it all up and then sew it on in rows onto this pink felt. Now I have a fancy little foot that goes on my machine that is meant to do the gathering for you. But I did not get on with this. I don't know if it was me, but um, yeah, just, just you'll, you'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah, there, look, look at it. It ate it. Thought it was me, so after some fandangling and getting it out, I try again. And it seemed amazing. I was very impressed. It was gathering it beautifully. And then, yep, it ate it again. So of course at this point, I just gave up and went back to the old foot, uh, doing a nice big stitch and then pulling the threads so that it could then just gather up. It took a lot longer, but there was a lot less fabric being eaten by my old machine, so it was worth it in the end. I also put a little bit of PVA all along the edges of all these fabric pieces because this particular type of fabric was fraying like crazy. So while it was all one piece of fabric, I did go along with PVA and then once that was all dry, I then cut the pieces out. It just kept it all neat and tidy. They did fray a little bit later on when I was pulling the fabric about, but yeah, much better than if I hadn't done the PVA glue. Then I went ahead and sewed them all on until the skirt was completely covered and it looks so poofy, I love it! Now for the shirt, unfortunately there wasn't much footage of it, it's literally just this little bit of me PVA gluing the seams again to make sure that there was no fraying on the fabric. Now the fabric itself is a really nice um, rainbow striped fabric and this was kind of inspired by the old striped waistcoats that a lot of the ice cream men from, well, I don't know if they were actually from back in the day or if it's just sort of movie magic, but yeah, that's what inspired the stripes for the shirt. And now using some uh, faux leather, I am just doing a nice big splat.
lashes facing down like I did for my Draculaura uh, doll. I thought it looked really cute on her and I want to continue with that look. Now again, as I mentioned earlier, for some reason, my pencils crumble with even the slightest bit of pressure that's been put on them. The end of the pencil will just snap off after I've taken so long to try and make it nice and sharp. So I might invest in a better quality black pencil for when I do my eyelashes. Because um, this one is an Arteza. And I mean, for one thing, it's like it's only three centimetres long now. So I, I need to replace it anyway. But I think I'll get something from higher quality so that it doesn't crumble. Now, while I've been nattering away, you'll notice I did actually write insanely creating on the back of her neck this is something that I um, have been starting to do with all of my dolls now especially the ones that I plan on selling and I've also started to number them so this particular doll is the tenth doll that I've made so she's actually got the number 10 written on the back of her neck as well a little bit of gloss to the lips and to her eye line I used to do the entire eye but as many other artists mentioned it completely ruins photos and I noticed yes it does so <laughs> I've stopped doing it and I'm just going to add my own little um, little eye catch light catchers with the white dots on her eyes. Now I'm just giving a repaint to some nice little pink shoes that I got from Draculaura and some clear hands that I actually had left over from my Evil Dead face up that I did not too long ago. Right, now that the face has been done and it has been sealed with Mr. Super Clear, I can go ahead and unwrap her and sort out this hair. I love the colour of this hair with this skin tone. It's so pretty and I really want to do another doll with these colours again one day. Now before putting my hair straighteners straight onto the doll, I did a quick test with this little leftover piece just to make sure it didn't melt the hair because I couldn't remember where I got this hair from so I couldn't check with the manufacturer to see if it was safe to use with heat but it was fine so I went ahead and started styling it. Now using the hair straighteners on its own wasn't giving the amount of curl that I wanted so I ended up using this metal, I don't know what it was, was it a chopstick? I think it was a chopstick um, and wrapping the hair around that and then pressing my hair straighteners on top. I've seen quite a lot of um, doll customizers use this trick. So I gave it a go myself and it worked beautifully.
I've decided to name her Polly for Neapolitan ice cream. sticking around and watching the whole video i really hope that you enjoyed it now if you did like it please give it a thumbs up and if you ended up loving it consider subscribing so that you do not miss any of my future videos i want to say a massive thank you to the rest of the collaborators that were in this group it was so much fun getting to work with you and I really hope I get to work with you guys again. Here is everybody's dolls. Once again, we had Rock Puppet, myself, Jackie O, Dark Crafting, our host Val Kitty's World, and Electric Bunny. Everyone's dolls turned out amazing. Please make sure you go and check out all of their videos now. I will have them linked in the description box below. But for now, guys, I'm going to go and put my feet up and have a cup of tea because I am tired. So thank you for watching and until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>